Hey down, this is Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into Subin from TXT and why people believe this was his way of showing that he's in a cute relationship. And people are saying this is proof. I think it's cute. I'm gonna talk about it. I also want to get into a manager who kind of hurt Subin a little bit and people are very angry about this and it was trending all last night. So grab your dumpling, a tea spilling mug merch and let's jump into the tea. If you're new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified and some new video drops. And if you're a hater, like to be first leave your hate comment please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell also so you'll be first to do so. Now let's jump into it. The first thing we'll get into today is what happened very publicly with Subin and Bongyu. TXT has been all over the news lately and there's a lot of stuff happening. Specifically since they are having a comeback, people are talking about them and their new song. But more so since they are having a comeback, there is going to be a lot more paparazzi and just people taking photos of our boys. If you aren't aware, people who are currently not doing a comeback are less likely to get paparazzi as paparazzi only want to get photos that they can sell right now. So if the artist is not currently trending or being talked about, the photos are not worth as much. So TXC is definitely in demand right now. It seemed like all the members were coming out of an airport or something like that. I don't know the specific place they were leaving. It didn't look like it was in America. Also, I don't know how well they are known in America for that to happen, but mostly because the footage we are talking about today is very clear and they seem to be really close to the idol. Whereas for some reason, the camera quality of American paparazzi is super blurry and always far away and it just looks bad. I don't know how you purchase the worst camera to have this as your job. I don't feel too bad saying this because a lot of paparazzi, not all, but a lot do harass the idols. Now in this video, a lot of people were looking very closely at two specific boys, which were Subin and Bang Yu. Subin is the leader of TXT, if you didn't know, and he has his arms around Bang Yu. Now of course this caused some dating rumors to occur, bigger shit moments to occur, and people thinking they were dating. It became very sus when Bang Yu was ducking and being shy when he noticed the camera. It was like he was telling Subin to get off and kind of ducking and shying away from the camera. Obviously they are not camera shy so it is weird. Similar actions are seen when a makeup artist and stylist are seen on camera during behind the scenes. They tend to duck or get out of the frame the same way and people often believe they do this because they are dating the idol and don't want to get any hate. But oftentimes and more likely the reason they duck out is because they know even if they aren't dating the boys they are going to get hate for dating the boys just by being in the same frame. This is really for any boy group, not just TXT. I will admit the moment looks very cute and they do have a nice thing going. But we also have to keep in mind as people from maybe another culture and we need to take and we need to take in consideration that cultures and affection definitely varies. In Asian culture, showing affection and touching each other a lot is not considered a weird thing. Snuggling and even just constantly touching each other, it's seen as brotherly and if it's done intentionally on camera, then it can also be seen as just fan service. I don't know how intentional this is because I don't know if they planned this paparazzi moment. Judging by Bangyu's reaction, they did not. But if it was planned, then it would be considered fan service. And if not planned, it's just a cute moment they have. I have had old friends be very touchy with me and put their hands on my shoulders, which doesn't mean much. Bangyu might have gotten shy when he noticed the cameras thinking that it could make people think that they're dating and don't want those rumors to start. Honestly, if he didn't have a reaction, no one online probably would have said anything. They did think his reaction was just very cute. It's not impossible for the boys to be queer. I don't put that off the table, but they haven't said anything, so we must not judge. As far as I know, every single boy in K-pop is asexual and does not have genitals. And then when they finally admit their sexuality and gender, they grow their appropriate genitals. I'm kidding. <laughs> but I love these moments, and I do wonder if they're a big ship culture with Subin and Bang Yu. I think there has to be. This was definitely a more light and fun thing to wake up to today, and I'm glad that I saw it. Sometimes Sometimes you Moas are hilarious and definitely are amazing. I also want to apologize in my last video, I pronounced them MOA and it's actually MOA apparently. If I still pronounced it wrong, let me know. Now TXT hasn't been around for such a long time. I mean, they are still relatively new. They debuted in 2019, so they are still considered a more rookie group, but they are definitely making a big name for themselves, which I love. I can't believe these boys are as talented as they are for how short of a time they have been around. One thing I need to clarify about big kid is that they like to raise their idols in a way that shows humility to adults and to their elders. This is not only to elders like parents or old ladies walking in the street, but also to show humility older people in their label, such as their managers and teachers. Big Hit is very open about this idea that they refuse to sign someone who isn't kind to their staff and all that, because rude people will inevitably result in a scandal. One of the most controversial photos that have floated around was this photo here, where he is holding an umbrella for his 
manager or whoever this is, this isn't the best, right? People are going to look at this and think that artists should be the one who gets an umbrella held for them. And I agree. But maybe he didn't want his umbrella held and just wanted to do this for his manager or staff. We don't know the story of this and the entire context. It's very easy to sit there and judge a person based on one photo. Keep in mind, BTS also runs Big Hit. So if there's any issues of fairness or whatever, BTS would definitely know about this. And since they have been rookie idols before, they would probably not condone being treated poorly. I just don't think they would. One of the recent really big controversies that kind of happened online really freaked people out and started this hashtag. I was so confused and was like, is this about BTS? Like what happened? Why is this trending? Did someone from Big Hit hurt BTS? And are people defending them? Is this why? Turns out I wasn't too far off as it was TXT, not BTS. So it looked like TXT had just come from an event. So it looked like TXT had just come from, looks like an airport. It looks like they were either waiting for their plane, but my question is why are they flying commercial? Like TXT is pretty big and a lot of it is the same fandom as BTS, meaning probably similar sets on fans and probably similar crazy people like that. So first off, proper precautions should definitely have been taken. Now from these photos, it looks like allegedly they were just waiting and then they got mobbed at the gate, to which case they decided to walk into the parking lot to hide in their car or run away. Let me know if I got that wrong. But then the issue occurs here. So there's some concern why Big Hit couldn't have had the car pull up and it's an airport, probably less likely able to do that. But also since the mob happened so suddenly, they obviously couldn't leave TXT there while they pull up the car. So the team walking TXT out of the airport into the parking lot is the only choice. The next part is more interesting where they get mobbed by Sesson fans and people speculate which Sesson fan it is and there's many theories. I'm not going into that. Because everything was so hectic, the manager appeared to have pushed Subin into the car and hit him on his head on the door frame. It looks like it hit pretty hard and it could have hurt, which then really became the concern. Now the issue continues because this allegedly, not the first time, apparently Big Hit still has not taken action on this. First off, this is completely unavoidable. The manager pushing Subin is expected. In a scenario where there are 50 saucing fans, you want to make sure that Subin gets into the car. It honestly doesn't even matter how he gets in there because what if someone had a gun or a knife? Subin hitting his head seemed like an accident. I'm not trying to defend the company, but to me, it's possible for it to be an accident. People look at the footage and got mad and said that the parking lot should have been cleared and there should have been no one in there, but no one travels with a full entourage of like 20 guards that can clear out a parking lot. Best case scenario, they had three guards with them that were traveling with TXT and because it was so spur of the moment, no, they did not have time to clear out the parking lot and get those Sasang fans out before they rushed TXT into the car. Is this the best thing to have happened? Absolutely not. Could this be avoided in the future? Maybe. But if you have any ideas, let them know. I don't see how they could ultimately avoid this. I do believe this whole situation is an accident and will probably be another accident because there isn't much anyone can do to avoid this. Like TXT will have to travel private planes if they want to avoid this entirely. There's no other way. Security can't stop saucing fans from entering the gate area, especially if that fan did buy a ticket to be there. Hating on a company doesn't do anything. Hating on anyone in this situation, aside from the Sesson, doesn't do do anything. Pitch ideas to Big Hit and let them know. That's all you can do. I hope Subin, you are okay. I hope all the boys are okay and not traumatized by this. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave down the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving comments. And as always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check that out. I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright or getting taken down, so I do keep it over there on my Patreon. You can get videos over there like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things you would like to see over there. Currently, we do have a great time interacting with each other over there and having fun. So if you're interested in any of that, link is in the top description down below. There's also a video over there that kind of goes over how you can support this channel even more if you'd like to do that. That video is on the front page and it's free to watch. With that said, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video. So click on one of those and I'll see you over there. Bye.